In my first video where I talked about the Moonlander Mark I, one of the things that I showed was being able to quickly switch between applications just by using the keyboard. And I had some requests on how I set that up, so that's what this video is gonna be about. And I'm gonna try to make this quick, so let's get right into it. And first thing, this video only applies to Mac OS users. So if you use Windows or Linux, then sorry, but it might still be able to give you some ideas on how you might do this on those other operating systems. But the process is pretty straightforward. There's basically just three steps. The first step is configuring your keyboard layout. The second step is using the Automator application on Mac OS to set up quick actions. And the third step is to go into your system settings and set up your keyboard shortcuts. And just to get things started, I'm gonna show a quick little demo of what we're gonna do. So on my keyboard, I have this key set up so that it takes me to this app layer. And I have all these keys highlighted, but you'll see in a minute that really I can assign any of these keys to open any application. I just have some of these highlighted to help me remember which keys I have assigned to applications and which ones are just kind of sitting there being dormant. So I have this layer set up as a one-shot layer. So what that means is as soon as I activate the layer and hit a key, it'll take me back to my first layer. And something else that I've done is use mnemonics to help me remember what application I have assigned to each key. So for instance, on P, I have that set up to open up Postman, O, OBS, N, Notion, and also Notes, S, Slack, Z, Zoom, C for Chrome, and you probably get the idea. So if I wanna open up Notion, then I just hit N, and that'll open up Notion. And also because this is a one-shot layer, I said that I have this set up to open up Notion or Notes. And the way I have that set up is if I hit N, it'll send some key combination. But if I double tap N, then it'll send a different key combination. And if I'm opening up Notes, then I'll just hold down this one-shot layer key and then double tap it. And that'll open up the Notes app. And then, like I said, I can quickly switch over to Postman if I want and then I'll quickly switch back to Chrome. Although when I just did that, I have my other monitor where Chrome opened up on that monitor. But by default, if you hit Control and then down arrow, it should use the App Expose feature. However, that's not working on this keyboard for some reason, and I'm too lazy to figure it out right now. But I also have my mouse set up so that if I hold down the middle mouse button right here and then swipe down, it'll actually register as a gesture and do the app expose feature. So I'll just do that real quick and you can see that it popped up some of these windows that are open for Chrome. And that's really nice just to be able to expose multiple windows of the same application. Like, you know, I always have a ton of different desktops open. And like you just saw, I have this Chrome window open over here and another one on this desktop and another one on my external monitor that you can't see right now. But that's a super handy little feature, the app expose feature on Mac OS. So like I said, there's basically three steps that you have to follow in order to get this setup working on Mac OS. So the first step is setting up your layers. So this is my layout that we're looking at right here. And I have this apps layer right here. And like I mentioned earlier, I have this key set up so that it activates layer three, but only for one key press. And as soon as I hit that key, then it'll take me back to my first layer or layer zero. And basically all that I've done is gone to each key and made it that key, normal key press. So for instance, this is like I and then U and Y and just added hyper onto there. And if you're not sure what hyper is, hyper is just the control, alt, option, and command keys all put together. And then if I have a key that I have set up to open up different applications, like for instance right here, this should open up Notion or the Notes app. Basically, uh, if I tap it, then it'll do hyper plus N. And if I double tap it, then it'll do meh. And the meh key is control, shift, and alt. And the same with this one, I have it set up to open up messages if I tap it and to open up my music app if I double tap it. But so far, these are just like key combinations. So you actually have to do something different that is completely unrelated from the keyboard itself in order to pick up these different key presses that you send to the operating system. And that takes us to step two, which is to open up the Automator app, which I actually have a shortcut for that. And this is Automator. It's an application that's just part of Mac OS. And what we're gonna do in here is create a new document. And then you're gonna wanna select Quick Action. And then over here, you're going to look for the action that you want, which is launch application. And then here, you'll just pick the application that you want to use. 
you can of course click other and it'll show you all of the applications that you have under your applications folder. So let's set up a new quick action. I don't have one assigned to you right here. And sometimes I open up this Ultimaker Cura app. So I'll just choose this one. And then honestly, I don't know if this step is necessary, but I always come up to this workflow receives thing and go from automatic and select no input. That's probably just like an OCD thing, but that's what I do. Anyways, uh, then we'll just go ahead and save this file and I'm gonna call it launch Ultimaker. And we'll just save that. And that was step two. For step three, we're just gonna go to our system settings and then go down to keyboard and then keyboard shortcuts. And then from here, you're gonna go to services and then general. And if we look under here, you can see that I have all these different shortcuts set up in here. And as soon as you create a quick action, it should show up in this list right here. And if it doesn't, then just go ahead and completely quit out of system settings and then open it back up. All right, and with system settings back open, we'll just go back into keyboard, keyboard shortcuts, and services, and general. Anyways, you should see your new quick action in here, and right now it's not assigned to any keyboard shortcuts, so I'll just double click on that, and then go to my layer and hit U. And that will assign that shortcut to this quick action that we have set up right here. So I'm just gonna hit done, and I'll quit out of system preferences, or I guess system settings because sometimes I've noticed that if I don't quit out of system settings and then restart it, that the quick action won't work. So we'll just do that again. All right, I'm also gonna just quit out of Automator right there and then let's try it again. And it did not work. And I'm not sure if you heard that on the microphone. Sometimes I've noticed that it'll do that and I'll have to make sure that I have some other application focused. It's really weird and I don't understand it, but now that I have my notes app right here focused and hit that shortcut, then it should work again. And there you go, it's right here. It's kind of weird that it's off screen like that, but it, it works. And I've actually had this problem just when I'm inside my terminal for whatever reason, like if I try switching to like, let's say my notes app, it just doesn't work. So I'm pretty sure that my terminal is intercepting those key combinations of hyper or meh. And so like, it just doesn't work, like I said, but a really quick and easy workaround that I've just gotten in the habit of using is just to uh, uh, command tab to any other application and then the app shortcut works. And then I can quickly switch back over to WesTerm and then just my command tab and I don't know, Postman and then back to WesTerm. So that's kind of just what I've done to get around that issue. So yeah, that's basically the method that I've used to quickly switch between applications. And that's been really nice for my workflow. And I no longer like have to sit here and, and command tab through all my different applications to get to the right one. And then, you know, like have to shift tab if I go past it. And so being able to just quickly jump around different applications has been really, really nice. And a really nice thing about doing it this way using Automator and then setting up keyboard shortcuts with those quick actions in the system settings is that you can make this work for pretty much any programmable keyboard. For instance, I just picked up this keyboard right here. This is the Kinesis Advantage 360 Professional. So I've essentially taken the keyboard layout that I've been using for my Moonlander and adapted it to this keyboard. For instance, I have this key set up so that if I hit that and then N, then it'll open up Notion, just like on my Moonlander. And also, if I hit that key and then P, it'll open up Postman. And basically, I have it set up to do exactly the same thing. And because I had already set up my keyboard shortcuts with Automator on my MacBook, all of my usual shortcuts still worked as soon as I mapped out this app layer right here, which was pretty convenient. And I'm actually switching from my Moonlander keyboard to this keyboard. And if you're curious of why that is, then go ahead and watch this video right here.